terrific head-to-head -head comparison on the AMD Radeon 7870 against the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660 Ti. Now, let's take a look at these two um, beauties that I've got here. I've got from Gigabyte, both brands, overclocked from the factory, the 660 Ti WinForce Edition, overclocked, beautiful card, two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. Oh, wow, I just can't wait to put this in this Intel Core i7 machine and put it to work. Now, I've got also the HD 7870 from AMD, also a gigabyte card, overclocked, and we're going to put this little baby also to work. Terrific looking cards, both from Gigabyte. If we put them side to side, I tell you, they both look very similar. However, the AMD has three fans as opposed to the NVIDIA. Here we go, the GTX 660, which has two larger fans for cooling. Nice looking card, I got to tell you. Looking at this card here from the side, it's got dual DVI outputs. You've got your display port out, your HDMI, and of course... You know, you got decent heat sinks underneath there with two copper heat pipes going through all of that to keep it nice and cool, dissipate the heat. Of course, you do need a 450 watt power supply minimum and two PCI Express connectors to get this puppy powered. Now, let's take a look at the 7870 from AMD. Wow, three fans going across on this little guy. It's not that little, but I'm telling you, I'm hoping that this thing will punch a lot of power. Now, looking at the card also, it's got one DVI output on it on the side. It's got two display port outs, two minis, and one HDMI. Terrific looking card for your crossfire if you want to do that, just like with the NVIDIA, which you can do SLI as well. Now, this card here, of course, has the two copper heat pipes also going through the heat sinks all across the card. It is a little bit longer, actually, than the 660 Ti because of these triple fans and the uh, PCB board. The board itself is a little bit longer, as you can see. Side-by-side -side comparisons. This is very exciting. I'd like you guys to comment below. I'm going to be comparing this in a part two review, obviously doing benchmarks. But here are the specs for you guys. Like I mentioned, these cards come overclocked. You can see the memory on the NVIDIA card is higher than the AMD. And... Even though they're still using the same technology, 28 nanometer, 2 gigabytes of uh, memory on there, the AMD card has 256 bandwidth as opposed to 192 on the NVIDIA. So we should see a little bit more performance, hopefully. Now, on the power supply point of view, the AMD card does require 50 watt power more. But, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how things go here when we run this. Now, right now, if you were to purchase this, $289 for the 660 Ti from Gigabyte, as opposed to getting the 7870 from Gigabyte, which is going for 249 actually. So, substantial amount of savings, actually, if you uh, ask me on that one. But, hey, let's see the benchmarks. Let's see how this thing performs on the games. I'm going to run it on a whole bunch of new titles. And comment below. Let me know what you think. And again, thank you for watching.